Acharya of CSC Department from KD Institute of Technology, Hubli. So my topic is about the YouTube video summarizer. So we have never thought of uh, getting a short summary of a big YouTube tutorial. So my project will basically summarize the content of the YouTube video and it will make uh, to easily understand for the people. So uh, in, for, in many of the videos, the main content of the video is about only 50 to 60 percent of the total length. So this summarizer will summarize the content of the video by keeping only the important points and make it short and easy to understand for people. So there are two types of uh, summarizers. One is an extractive summarizer and another one is the abstractive summarizer. So the extractive summarizer will extract only the important paragraphs and the text from the transcript and it will give the output. In abstractive, uh, it will create a summary based on the given passages on its own. So in this project, I have used the extractive summarizer. So going through the code, first I have installed a, a transformers. I have used la natural language processing uh, for this uh, project. In natural language processing, we will get a transformer. It is a library that provides a pre-trained models for various uh, NLP tasks like summarization, translation and all. And next I have uh, installed a library called as a YouTube Transcript API. So this will get, uh, give the transcripts of the uh, YouTube. Whatever the link, the link that will be given, it will give the trans, uh, transcripts of that video. And from the transformers, I have imported the pipeline. So this pipeline, this refers to a sequence of processes that transforms the raw data into the desired outputs. Here I have uh, pasted uh, one YouTube link. Uh, so this is like a data set. I have pasted a YouTube uh, link that will be stored in the variable called YouTube video. Uh, and again I have uh, created a YouTube ID, a variable called YouTube ID. So this uh, this basically means, uh, this is the whole uh, YouTube link. For this project, we need only the YouTube ID which is after this equal to mark. So I have written YouTube video dot split uh, in bracket uh, equal to. This will split, this will split the YouTube link into two parts uh, and will get the YouTube ID, YouTube video ID that will be stored in the video ID. So here we can see video ID will be KGPR, this one. This is the only video ID. And then from ipython dot display import YouTube video, this will uh, give the picture like whatever we are, uh, we want to summarize and then the transcript uh, 0 to 5 this will retrieve the first 5 transcript item from the inspection so this first it will start from this is Ben start to store like it will give the first 5 transcripts and this code will loop through each segment of the transcript first we will get the transcript of the YouTube video and this will uh, this code will loop through each of the transcript and it will take only the text part in the whole YouTube uh, video that uh, transcripts will be having uh, timestamps uh, text will be having will take only the uh, text part not the timestamps of the YouTube video and then it will print the uh, it, that will be stored in the result that only the text parts will be stored in the result and the length will also be uh, the length of all the transcript will also be printed and then next I have used the summarizer variable here I have used a uh, summarization so this pipeline this initializes the summarization pipeline using the transformers library it, that is a pre-training model for summarization so this will allow the model to perform the text summarization this is the pre-train this will uh, summarize the text whatever we have given and then next, now iterations is equal to int of length result per thousand. So this will calculate the number of iterations that is uh, required to split the transcript. The whole transcript will be uh, what, uh, split it into few parts and uh, few chunks uh, by thousand. And then it, the, the, those all chunks will be uh, kept in the num iterations. And then I have initialized the summarized text. Whatever the summary I get, that will be stored in this list. And this uh, 
code will help to uh, summarize uh, the text, the input text. It will it will summarize the input text. It will summarize the uh, chunks, small chunks. Like I have got here the input text, and then I'll get the summarized text. Input text and then summarized text. So on it will give. And I have uh, printed also the length of the summarized text. I can see here uh, before the transcript, uh, the whole transcript of the video was 4848 uh, it was. Like uh, the length of the transcript. After the summarization I have got only 1903. So and I have printed the summary. What is the summary? You can see here it, uh, it has like reduced. The whole transcript is reduced now. And then I have deployed it using the string light. Uh, I have installed the string light. So this whole code I have again written in, into the apps.py and it will create a string lit web application uh, for summarization. And this uh, app.py I will run it in the local tunnel. Here, this is the output, uh, YouTube video summarizer. Here, I will get a, a, a pop-up window, like to enter the YouTube video URL. Here, we have to enter the uh, YouTube video URL, whole URL. If I, if I click on summarize, it will summarize the text like this. It will summarize into text, uh, chunks. So, this whole uh, uh, project will be useful for the students and the research uh, researchers who want a brief uh, summary of a YouTube video like if they don't want to watch the whole YouTube video like uh, if they don't want to waste their time and they have to get that work done in a few, uh, few amount of a time 